let's go back to etf now with the help of the tcc curve okay for the time being uh, let's skip this setting what is pickup what is time dial let's uh, skip this one i want to show you what is the tcc curve time current characteristic curve and what is the nature of this how suppose uh, this is normal inverse so let's see go to this star mode star protection coordination mode and i have selected this relay one now create the tcc curve a little bit okay now let's switch off the thermal element thermal overload thermal overload i am not discussing about the thermal overload now okay this one also jam acceleration so and the thermal also i have disabled only i'll talk about this 51 only about this 51 real element okay that's fine here so this is the this is the curve just to show you how it will look like so this is the relay one idmt curve so what is idmt relay what is idmt relay idmt means inverse definite minimum time once again idmt means inverse definite minimum time so why it is called idmt relay because it has the inverse inverse current inverse characteristic this x axis is the current and y axis is the time that's why time current characteristic curve this one is time current characteristic curve with respect to time this current will change inversely so this is the relationship because of the nature of this inverse characteristic this relay characteristic is known as inverse inverse relay so this is normal inverse if you see in the manual here let's say i will show you something what is uh, how it will look like what is the difference between this yeah so as you can see this is the standard inverse curve this is operating time y axis and x axis this is current current so time current characteristic curve which is called tcc curve here this red color this is standard inverse curve idmt standard inverse this is very inverse this is very inverse characteristic and this is extremely inverse this is extremely inverse so standard inverse or normal inverse very inverse and extremely inverse please note that this is the iec characteristic this is iec 60255 idmt relay characteristic and this right hand side this is also same idmt characteristic but this is nc standard this is nc i triple standard characteristic so we will follow throughout all the discussions i will follow the iec standard whenever i will talk about the idmt relay characteristic curve i will talk about iec curves only so normal inverse 
very inverse and extremely inverse how these characteristic curves are drawn let's go to the formula phase yeah already i have seen this is i triple formula this is i triple formula and this is iec this is iec as per iec equation iec 60255 standard inverse curve will follow this formula small t equals to tms time multiplier setting multiplied by 0.14 divided by ir to the power 0 0.02 minus 1 this is the standard inverse characteristic what is this ir ir is the ir is the ratio of measured current ir is the ratio of ratio of measured current and relay setting current and tms is the time multiplier setting and td is the time dial setting td is used uh, this term is used td is used for uh, ANSI standard and this TMS is used in IEC standard as per IEC standard. So, we will follow this TMS this term. So, based on this equation the normal curve normal inverse curve will follow this equation very inverse curve will follow this equation extremely inverse curve will follow this equation. So, based on these equations, the IDMT relay characteristic curve will be generated like this. This can be set or modified as per the requirement of device protection coordination settings. So, I will discuss using the ETAP software. Let us go back to ETAP again.